How can the hands of a clock help me understand what an angle is, or how it is measured? I've measured length, weight, and capacity before, but how do you measure angles? What are they made of that can be measured? What parts do we use to measure angles? In this lesson, you will learn how angles formed by quarter turns are 90 degrees and three quarter turns are 270 degrees by looking at the hands of a clock. Let's review. Rotating a ray around a full circle measures 360 degrees. Rotating a ray a around a half circle measures 180 degrees. I had to keep track of my schedule and I noticed that each time I looked at the clock, the minute and hour hands formed angles. Let's take a look at each time to see how to identify each of the angles formed. We know that as one ray rotates completely around a circle, it makes an angle that measures 360 degrees. If we rotate only halfway, the measure is half of 360, or 180 degrees. Let's look at a tool that shows us how a circle is divided into 360 sections. Mathematicians use a special symbol, a small circle, after a number to indicate the number of degrees. Looking at dinner time, I see the clock is showing 6 p.m. The minute hand is on the 12, while the hour hand is on the 6. Each hand looks just like a ray. As the minute hand rotates around the clock, it formed an angle shown in red. That looks just like half of the circle, so it must measure 180 degrees. Let's look at the schedule again. At 3 o'clock, the hour hand is pointing to the 3, while the minute hand is vertical, pointing to the 12. As that minute hand rotated, it formed an angle, shown here in red. To measure that opening, I need to think about how much of a circle that minute hand, or ray, has rotated. It hasn't made a full or even half rotation, so it has to be less than 180 degrees it looks like it is exactly half of 180 degrees. If I decompose 180 into two equal parts, each would be 90. When the clock shows 3 o'clock, it shows a 90 degree angle. Once bedtime rolls around, I can see that the hour hand is once again horizontal, but now pointing at the 9. This angle formed is greater than 180, but not a complete circle yet. Since it is exactly halfway between 180 and 360 degrees, it must be 270 degrees. During my restful sleep, both the minute and hour hand are pointing vertical at the 12. That complete rotation around the circle would measure 360 degrees. A common misunderstanding when measuring angles is to worry about the size of the rays or circle where the angles are formed. The angle opening is what is important. It doesn't matter whether you are looking at the hands of a watch, classroom clock, or Big Ben in England. If the clock says 3 o'clock, the angle formed is 90 degrees. How long the rays are does not change the angle opening. In this lesson, you have learned how angles formed by quarter, quarter turns are 90 degrees and three quarter turns are 270 degrees by looking at the hands of a clock.